There are two types of stimuli that you can do to a patient to get a response. One type is called a central stimuli, and the other one is a peripheral stimuli. A central stimuli is when pressure is applied to the center of the body or its core to create pain. And this tests the brain's response to that pressure slash pain. So there's a few ways you can do this. One way that's typically used first is through the trapezius squeeze. And you use your index finger and your thumb and squeeze about one and a half to two inches of the trapezius muscle. And as you do this, you will start out and increase the intensity or pressure on that muscle for up to 10 seconds seconds and then note how the patient responds. If no response is noted, then you could move to supraorbital pressure. And this is found around the eyes. If you go to the eyebrow and go to the inner part and you just feel with your thumb, you can feel a notch. And here you will gradually apply pressure for up to 10 seconds to that notch and note the patient's response. Now it's important to note before you use these pressure techniques to achieve a response in your patient, that your patient doesn't have some type of injury. So for instance, if your patient has some facial fractures, especially around the eyes, you would want to avoid using the supraorbital pressure technique because this could cause further damage. Now another type of central stimuli that can be used is called the sternal rub. However, it's really not recommended to use this anymore because it can cause bruising in patients. The next type is called peripheral stimuli, and this is where pressure is applied to a peripheral extremity, for instance, like the fingernail bed, and this creates pain, and this will actually help test the spinal cord's response to pain.